Hello and welcome. This is Lyrical, also known as Mommy, and today we are here with HelloFresh and we are going to be doing rapid stir fry beef and broccoli. Uh, it came with the noodles and it came with the um, beef for it. Of course, everything else is also included. Um, I've done a lot of stuff already because I, you know, I, it already takes like 20 minutes for one of these videos and uh, if you have the attention span like me, you don't watch all of it. <laughs> um, so I have chopped up, uh, I did the um, minced garlic, minced ginger, the sesame oil, ketchup, soy sauce, hoisin sauce and water they wanted in a bowl and whisk, which is already done. Broccoli, which is already cooked. They just wanted it to cook it, boil it for like two to three minutes so that it's not raw when you add it to your stir fry. Uh, the beef tips has already been mixed with cornstarch, salt and pepper. And now we are heating the oil in the pan. So we're going to be cooking the steak tips for just a few minutes to get them done in this hot oil. Let's see how much it pops. There we go. So like most stir fries, it's going to go very quickly. I'm just breaking it up a little bit so that I don't have raw meat in there. Uh, once that is cooked, we are going to be cooking noodles, which I, I don't usually like the noodles for um, the Chinese food. I'm used to eating noodles for Italian food, <laughs> but for some reason they always taste a little different to me. I've never actually, I've only had them in a restaurant. I've never had them like where I've made them at home. So this will be something good for me to try. I just want to see if I like this just as well as everything else that I've liked from HelloFresh. So this is going to cook in that same pan that we are cooking the meat in right now. It said that they sent us uh, like double what we need. So there is, um, you only use half of this bag and their tip was make a romaine soup or something with the rest of it, which we will see. What did I do with, oh. There we go. I am going to just drain off this liquid here. I feel like I don't have anything to do now that I had everything all, all ready. As you can see, this was a really easy meal. So my plan today is we are going to do two in a row, um, not back to back. We'll cut it off so you can look at the other one. Um, but I work the weekend and it's coming up. And instead of uh, buying food and spending all of that money on lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call 11 to 11 food, um, I, I'm going to take some of this food and um, make it a little bit healthier choice instead of McDonald's. So Lee gets to eat a little bit of food today, but he doesn't get a whole plate. So <laughs> I'll have to find you something else. The next one I'm going to make actually has shrimp in it. Again, I'm trying to broaden my horizons, and so I wanted to try some shrimp other than shrimp cocktail. Um, so I was going to try cooking it and see um, the flavors that they have going together with it. Seems a little odd to me. So Lee might be going home with some food. <laughs> it all depends on how it, how it tastes to me. He's a little more open to different things than I am. I'm not sure where he gets that. He likes things that I've never even tried before, like wasabi sauce. Um. <laughs> but he's, a, he's good to have around so I can ask him questions because at least he's broadened his horizons and he's tasted a lot more stuff than I have. So that um, cornstarch is actually making a little bit of a sauce in here. Yeah. It's kind of, oh, yeah. kind of gravy-ish. Hmm. Yeah. 
and it doesn't want me to clean out the pan like some of the recipes wanted me to clean the pan out like before I did anything else with it it's like nope you're gonna add some stuff to it so okay. um, I will need a bowl for this when it's done and I sure don't want to put it back in with the raw stuff that I had all right My millions and millions of dishes. Still a little pink, but it's coming up good. Some of these, uh, I guess I probably should have gone through them. Uh, some of them are like really small pieces, and some of them are really thick chunks. Yeah, so. Getting an even cook might be a little hard. Yeah. I don't mind a little, well, since it's beef, I don't mind it being medium to, to medium rare. So the other dish that I had, I was supposed to do a mozzarella crusted chicken. So <laughs> when the box came, I pulled out the noodles, the beef, uh, the, the shrimp, and left the box. And realized about two days later that there was actually still chicken in that box. Like the meat and everything is hidden in the bottom. I didn't actually take everything out this time. Um, so just be careful when you get these boxes. It's, you know, such a small package that doesn't have a lot of weight to it. You don't always realize that there's more stuff in the bottom. I think that just clicked off. Yeah. Uh-oh. Liam emergency. So uh, we lost our camera for the food, but it's cooking. You know, things happen. This is real life. So Liam got, starts crying. <laughs> camera dies. <laughs> Might have to do the other other one later though. Let's see. So I'm cooking the garlic, ginger, scallions for one minute, and then I have to toss in the noodles. So well, it's probably more than half, but these things are all stuck together. Wants me to break up the noodles a little bit. Oh boy, I can smell that garlic. What kind of charger does it take? Maybe I have something. Uh, it's a special charger. Oh, okay. Break up noodles using tongs or wooden spoon. Pour in one cup of water, which I have over here. Let's see if this works. I was trying to use the spatula to break it up, but that wasn't working too good. Let's see. Last thing you want is clumpy noodles. The old fashioned way. What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you meant that. <laughs> that was one cup of water. I just want to try to get some of that stuff off of the bottom before I put the lid on. All right, that's got to cook for a minute here. Um, let's see. Cook for three minutes. Um, avoid uncover, increase heat to medium high, and toss until noodles are tender. Another three minutes. Add this sauce. Uh, toss the broccoli steak into noodles and warm through. Oh, and I had some sriracha sauce. That's another thing I've never in my whole life tried. Um, so we are going to find out if I like sriracha. I know it has a very unusual flavor. And it says it's very hot. <laughs> it's really warm. Is it? Yeah. Looks like ketchup.
doesn't have that much flavor. It's not like a... I don't even know how to describe that. It's kind of close to Tabasco, just doesn't have that same flavor. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting the hot, the heat in the back of the throat. Yes! Are you helping Grandma cook? Yay! All right. Three minutes for that. I might as well clean up the kitchen, right? And then we'll have to get the other, uh, the other camera working so that we can do all of that. I know! You gonna help? You're such a good boy. Let me stir this a little bit. I have it on medium, but it doesn't seem to be doing too much. I know. You want to come up here? No? I have some broccoli. You want to try some? Here. Oh, it's a little tree. No. <laughs> He's shaking his head no, as usual. Come up here. You want to say hi to the camera? Okay. That's okay? All right. <laughs> He looks like that little baby from uh, Labyrinth in that little, oh, those yeah. little pants. Because you were, what does this say, king of something? Hey. You want to come up here? You want to see what? No, he keeps saying no to his grandmother today. He knows what he wants. Uh... Done. All right, these are done. So I was supposed to add sauce, sauce until and then let it thicken. Not a lot of sauce for, for it to thicken up. Little tiny bit of sauce. I mean, it barely covers the noodles. Can't get it off. Lots of dishes for this one. Even though it was supposed to be an easier dish, you got more cleanup. Let's try using a fork. Kind of a big clump of noodles in the middle there. <laughs> kind of. Maybe I should try to break them up a little bit more. Otherwise, you're just going to have noodles. Do any good. All right, and then the sriracha sauce. I'm guessing, so I have no idea. It almost seems like it needs more uh, water or something. See if it 
is good. I don't taste that at all. Oh, the soy sauce. Well, that's why it's dry. That's it. Rapid stir fry broccoli, beef and broccoli. Probably should have used different tongs. Some more meat in there. There we go. Looks good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I think it needs um, a little more salt. But with so much uh, soy sauce, I was afraid to add it. Noodles are pretty good. Not like in the restaurant, they're a lot more fresh. So, you wanna try it? Sure. <laughs> Now I'm getting a little bit of the heat from the sriracha. It's just enough that it didn't make it really super hot. Probably better that way if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. I, I usually keep sriracha at the house and I, mean, I, I put a good little bit on. <laughs> oh no. Well, they only gave, what's that, maybe a tablespoon? If that, maybe half a tablespoon. That's an awful small little bag. Sesame comes through really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was sesame oil in that uh, original sauce with the ketchup and the hoisin sauce. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Much better than uh, takeout. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, this is Lyrical, also known as Mommy, and I am signing out for HelloFresh. Thank you, and thank you for joining me, and uh, come and join me again. Thank you.